But a social media trend is raising concerns with police and parents. It may look like child's play, but Georgetown police say the Orbeez challenge can be dangerous. The challenge encourages shooting strangers with Orbeez water beads. Georgia MacArthur joins us now live to tell us why this is anything but a harmless prank. Georgia. Yes, good evening, Marvin and Imani. Georgetown police say that these bees are being frozen and modified to cause more harm. Police say that can lead to serious injury and severe property damage. Hashtag Orbeez Challenge. Mainly involved in the juveniles, uh, where they are going out and seeking people that are not willing participants and seeing if they can shoot them with the uh, jail beads. And how it works. You put your beads into the container here and you're able to uh, screw it on top and then just start shooting. Georgetown police have responded to several incidents where air guns are used to shoot people as part of a TikTok trend. We've had several people that's gotten hit. Um, we've had calls for property that's been damaged in you know, various places throughout the city. Police say teens are using jail ball guns to shoot Orbeez, circular water gel beads, at friends and random people. The issue is whenever they freeze the, the little beads and they become hard like a marble, uh, that's when it's becoming, you know, the issue. While Orbeez are soft to the touch, police say they can lead to injury and even break through layers of skin when shot from a gun. Police say some teens are even freezing the beads to make them have a much harder impact. They leave a, a good sized red whelp uh, wherever it strikes you. And, you know, we've been told they stay there for a few days. So it looks like somebody's had the, the chicken pox. The majority of TikTok videos shows teens laughing while using the toy gun. But parents say this trend isn't all fun and games. A mom took to Facebook expressing her concerns on the trend, saying, quote, they keep saying these guns are just toys and not meant to hurt anyone. Tell that to the victims with visible injuries. And police are encouraging parents to talk to their children about the dangers of this activity. Police say criminal charges can stem from assault or property damage. Live in Lexington, George MacArthur, Fox 56 News. Georgia, thank you.